What's going on, guys? Did you hear that? Did you hear that, like, frequency cutoff audio transition? I've gotten so many questions how I do this audio effect. It's one of my favorite effects, and it's super easy to accomplish in Adobe Premiere. First, I'm going to talk a little bit about when you might use it and why you might want to. This audio effect is called a low pass, and essentially what it does is you set a hertz rate in Adobe Premiere, and then it cuts off all the frequencies above that. It creates kind of a ramped down muffle effect, and I use this in my going home for the 4th of July video as seen right here. One of the things that's nice about this effect, it makes it a lot easier when you're talking over music to understand your voice. The human voice is somewhere between like 150 and 250 hertz. Anytime you can cap out those higher frequencies, it makes it a lot easier and clearer to understand the human voice. You can also use this effect if you're trying to make the audio sound like it's in another room. Like you're doing a short film and you're standing outside of a bar or you're filming some sort of dance prom scene in the other room. Obviously there's some music playing and you don't want it to sound like the music's playing directly to your ears. So when you muffle out those higher frequencies, it sounds like it's coming from another room or location. This is by far one of my favorite transitions in Premiere Pro, and you'll probably start to notice it more that I use it in almost every video. I like to play a cinematic sequence and then hit it with a low pass filter transition. So then it goes like zoop, and it sounds like you almost like are putting on headphones or something. Without further ado, I explained enough. It's a super easy effect to achieve. Let's hop into Premiere Pro and learn how to do it. Woo! So like I said, this is a super easy effect to achieve. Just find the footage that you want to use. This is me just jumping in the pool, might I add. I get some decent air there. I never really noticed that. And then splash through the pool. Next thing, just drag on your song or whatever you're trying to put the low pass effect on. As you can see right here, it's gonna play and it's gonna sound like any other normal song. But if we go to the point where I start to crash through and the camera enters underwater right here, you just want to go into your effects tab, go to the search and type in low pass. And then just drag this onto your audio layer. And then by default, it's going to set it at 1373 hertz. So what you want to do is hit the keyframe for the cutoff and then just type in 25,000. The top of this setting can go is like 21,000, some weird number, but I just hit 25,000 because it's easier to remember. And then if you hit plus on your keyboard, you'll zoom in a little bit and then just drag forward a few frames and set it to 500. Basically, these keyframes are making it so it starts with no frequencies eliminated, and then as it goes through these next like few frames, it goes all the way down to where everything above 500 hertz is eliminated from your sounds. And as you can see in here, it's a pretty sick audio effect. Obviously though, as I state in every instructional video, you have to vary this around to get the desired effect that you're looking for. So if you want it to be longer, obviously just drag out this keyframe to go over a longer period of time. So it's based on whatever effect you're trying to go. For this situation though, since I enter the water pretty abruptly, it sounds better if it's just a quick snap in to the low pass. And you can set this to be even lower, but 500 is around the magic number that I have found and enjoy the sound of. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial little breakdown showing you how I do my favorite audio transition in Premiere Pro. That was a mouthful, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, subscribe if you enjoy my content and I'm posting every day on this channel. I've done it for the past 22, 23, 25, some odd amount of days, like between 20 and 30 days. My goal right now is to post every single day for the rest of the year. Look forward to a video every single day for the rest, for at least, at least, I wanna say at least for the rest of 2017. I wanted to set it in my mind and just do it no matter what and just know that regardless of anything, I wanna put up a good piece of content every day for the rest of 2017. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.